so a few weeks ago I made a video about a script I wrote. You probably know of it, it was the last episode. In that episode, I said, What if the film was set around a camping trip? A father trying to reconnect with their distant son in the woods for a weekend, completely alone. After much thought and discussing it with friends and people that I work with, I came to the realization that this shit just feels lazy. Let me explain. I have made quite a few films set in the woods and although this film was going to have quite an interesting visual look in mind, it did have its downsides. I wanted the film to be set during summertime because I think the forest would look more interesting that way of course. This of course means that I would have to shoot it as soon as possible which could lead to the potential of rushing the film which is the last thing that I would want and what you would want as well, like no one wants to watch a rushed film because they never turn out good. There was another thing that I came across which made me want to to change the direction of the film and that is called Derek's in France. If you don't know who Derek's in France is that's okay I didn't really know who he was until just a few weeks ago. Sim France has only made three films Blue Valentine, The Light Between Oceans and one of my new personal favorite films of all time The Place Beyond the Pines. He is an absolute master of drama watching his films heavily inspired me and gave me so many ideas on what I could do with characters, themes and story arcs. At this point you're probably thinking, what have I actually done with this film? <laughs> a lot of the film is staying the same, the core theme and story is staying the same, but there are just a few differences now. One of the biggest changes I've made to the film is that it is no longer set in the woods, they're set in a city. From Far Away is now set in a dark and grim backdrop of an urban neighborhood which is a shadow of what it used to be. Another thing I have added is more character depth. I've taken some time to fully write out the psychology of the characters in the film. Who they are, what is their goal in life, why is that their goal in life, and how are they going to go about achieving that goal. The result of which is a script which themes are do people deserve a second chance, and should you have to pretend to be someone else in order to please people. Hiring for the film's crew has now also begun and so far we have a producer, a cinematographer, a sound recordist, a gaffer, a production designer with me as the director. The producer and I have just put out casting calls online so by the time the next episode rolls around we should have a full cast and a full crew. So the film will revolve around two main characters and two supporting characters. The protagonist of the film is Ben, a 16 year old boy who after his father disappeared has been looking for a sense of belonging. This has led him to getting involved with certain people who manipulate his weaknesses and insecurities to get him to do things that aren't quite legal. Ben, however, is completely unaware of this because he's so desperate to not be lonely again that he's become a bit of a pushover. Up next is Luke, a 40-year-old man who is the father of Ben. Luke is a melting pot of masculinity. He was raised to never show his emotions and he's afraid of responsibility because he's worried that he won't be able to step up to the challenge. Luke's main arc and struggle of the film is trying to make up for his past mistakes and reconnect with his son. This then pushes him out of his comfort zone and puts him face to face with his fear of being a father. For the side characters we have Alexandra who is the same age as Luke and is the mother of Ben. Alexandra is the exact opposite of Luke. She is sophisticated, tidy and very feminine. Because of Ben's timidness she doesn't know how to talk to him. To make up for this she tends to spoil him with lots of expensive clothes and objects hoping this will make him open up to her. Finally we have Sam. Sam is a year older than Ben and is sort of the ringleader of his friendship group. He is the biggest of the group as well, making Ben look up to him. Sam promises Ben friendship and a place in his crew of sorts if Ben is willing to do certain things for Sam first. So what now? Well pre-production is now in full effect with hiring crew and casting being the main thing that we're focusing on right now. After that we will then move on to location scouting looking for the best settings to tell this story. 
we are aiming to start production on the film at the very beginning of October. This way we have the whole university year to make this thing. So if we have to, God forbid, reshoot something, or if one of us comes up with an idea for a cool scene that could actually add to the story, we don't have to rush and we have loads of time to sort of perfect it and put it in. Overall, everything is coming along very nicely and I'm very, very excited to get started working on this film and I can't wait for you guys to see it. If you would like to see some more films I have directed or would like more frequent updates, all the links to my social media and past films will be in the description box below. That's it, thanks for watching. And that is called Derek's in France. I really hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Beyond the Pines Review. Playing uh, with uh, Derek uh, Scene France, who made them. Um... Same difference.